everyone, it's Dot. I'm making a low carb paleo dish as part of my 30 day challenge for this month. And I'm making a chicken zoodle soup. So I've already got my onions sauteing in here and a little bit of minced garlic with uh, coconut oil. And I'm just gonna basically let these go for about five to seven minutes until the onions soften. My onions are almost done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my celery. Mix that in. Time to roll in my carrots. If you want to make this more ketogenic, don't use carrots. <laughs> I'm gonna add in my chicken. And yeah, I'm using raw chicken, but you also can use cooked chicken. You just wouldn't add it in this early. I'm gonna start adding in my broth. I'm using a bone broth, chicken bone broth specifically. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more broth and then I'm gonna bring this to a boil. Well, this is coming to a boil. I want to point out that I use white meat, so I use chicken breasts, and that is very lean. And this is part of the challenge that my husband and I are doing for the month of February, which is a ketogenic, or I'm doing a ketogenic version of it. He's being a little bit more just sort of low carb paleo, but it is a paleo style of diet. And the other nice component of it that we're doing, which is a little bit tough because it's so strict, is there's an autoimmune aspect to it. So in other words, there are very specific foods, tomatoes, peppers, uh, certain spices, things like that that we absolutely cannot use on the site, which tend to be things I always use. So it's a big challenge. Foil's happening. I'm going to turn this down all the way to low. I'm going to add in my seasonings here. I've got two bay leaves. They're going to go right in here. I've got some oregano and sea salt. And we're just going to put that in and let's give it a quick stir. We're gonna cover it and let it cook for 45 minutes. Now don't worry, the zoodles are coming. They come at the end of the cooking process though. It's been 45 minutes. Let's take a peek. It is simmering away, which is awesome. Now I, my container's a little small, but that's all right for what I'm doing. But I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach in here. All right, have the spinach all in. I ended up adding all of it. I'm gonna add some parsley that I just chopped up. Adds a little bit more flavor. I like adding fresh herbs near the end of cooking. Otherwise, they just sort of get decimated if you do it too soon. Last but not least, we're gonna start adding zoodles. I'm using three zucchinis. I may not add them all, but I'm thinking I can get them all in. This is more of a chunky style soup, but that's okay. It's gonna be tasty. Now I'm just gonna close this up and let it cook for about another 15 minutes, and then it is time to taste the soup. soup is done. It smells delicious and I can't wait to dig in. But I do want to let you know that the idea for the recipe came from Rob Wolf's book, Wired to Eat. He has a chicken soup recipe in there and I just tweaked it a little bit. I made some changes to it, adding zoodles and spices. I can't wait to dig in and give this a try. So let's go ahead. All right, this is so good, so delicious, better than anything you find in those cans at the grocery store, I'm telling you. It's easy to make, it takes a little patience, obviously, so you gotta put it on a stove, there's a bit of chopping, but it is so worth it. And the nice thing about it is, you can play the, with the ingredients too. Um, one of the things I was looking at doing was adding some mushrooms to it, I ended up not doing that, but you certainly could. You can easily make this uh, a ketogenic dish as well by taking out the carrots, maybe adding in half a red pepper, using only a cup of onion, uh, adding in some more veggies in there to get it a lot more fiber to it. But, oh wow, it does pack a punch. I hope you give it a try. It'll be a nice little dish to warm you up. It should be filling too, because there's quite a bit of protein in here, which is what you want. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. And until next time, I'll see ya.